Um, but uh, yeah, got to show Steve some martial arts and that was fun. I remember outside the hotel room, there was a fan, a young fan about my age. I was 16, I think. And uh, he comes up to me and he says, like, Bulgarian, Kipushan, Bulgarian. And he says, can you do the kick like this? And he did a, a 360 roundhouse. And I said, a reverse roundhouse. And I said, uh, I said, yeah. And I did the kick in front of him. And he said, can you do it fast? And he did it really fast. And I was like, yeah, I can do it. And I did it really fast. And I was so close to falling, but I didn't. I caught myself back to the standing position. <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was a really cool moment. I felt like, okay, I can follow in my father's footsteps here. Nice. But as as I grew up, I realized it's not what I wanted to do. As I grew up, um, and I competed in martial arts. I competed for a numerous, I think about eight to 10 years, I competed in martial, in Taekwondo and a bit of Shotokan. R real quick, Chris. Yeah, let's break sure. down the martial arts training. So like at what age did you start? And did you start training with your dad? Or did he put you like in a class or get you a private instructor first? Jean-Claude Van Damme has inspired millions of people across the world to train in martial arts, myself included. But can you imagine having access to one of the greatest martial artists of all time? So in this video, part two of the Chris Van Damme interview, we're going to discuss how influential was Jean-Claude Van Damme in training his son Chris in martial arts and just talk about Chris martial arts training in general, even outside of uh, his father teaching him things. So anyway, if you like this kind of content, please help support the channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, sharing the video. So um, I, my dad trained me for the first, I'd say, five years of my of my martial arts career. And oh, then, of course, at, at what age real quick? Oh, I was five years old when I started. Oh, you started at five for five years. Five years old. That's cool. About 10, I started to go to a, a class. OK, but my father would always follow up with us whenever he saw us. And whenever he called my mom, you tell him, you know, always, always uh, techniques over the phone and everything. But, oh, that's uh, cool, man. Yeah, but my father taught me how to kick screwdriver technique. Billy Wallace uh, inspiration was his, was his inspiration. And uh, he, he carried that technique um, onto me. And the, the style I have is, it comes from my dance background. I did 12 years of ballet, classical ballet, like my father before me. So. That's awesome. When, when did you start ballet, by the way? I, I, did, I did ballet from, uh, must have been nine years old, eight or nine years old. And then onward 12 years later. So, yeah. See, I got that part wrong in the video. Uh, Cause AJ was like, Oh, you know, he, he kicks, but, but not as good as his dad. I'm like, well, he, he doesn't have the ballet background, but I, I will say I never seen kill them all. I, 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 that's like the one Van Damme movie I didn't see. And mm -hmm. I only seen maybe half of Blackwater, but I bring up kill them all because when I was editing that video, you, you fought uh, your dad in that. And yeah. you actually did some nice kicks. I'm like, oh, actually, you know what? He kicks better than I thought. <laughs> but I didn't know that when I was talking to AJ like nine months ago. Oh, it's ago. fine. It's fine. It's information that's not out there. You know, it's just uh, my father made sure I did ballet. My mom, too. She was very big on it. Uh, and it, it helps in my, my elasticity, the flexibility, the, the, the snap when you kick, the retraction, the power, the core strength. Ballet is an awesome Sport. Dude, I try to sport. implement ballet type training and techniques and stuff. Like, I don't take formal ballet. But, I, you know, like, obviously, you just told of all the benefits. So I do try to incorporate some of that in, like, my own, like, bodybuilding and martial arts training. It's like, let me Great. do some of their exercises, you know? Great, man. That's so good because all the football players in the U.S. do it. You know, it's part of their contract to do it. It's oh, really interesting. Important. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not all their contracts, but most of them, I think. I've, mm -hmm. I've read some stuff. But uh, I did jazz for six years, ballet for 12, and tap dance for two years. Wow. And uh, I did a lot of sports, man. Water polo. I did long, long track and field, long track at 1200 meter. I was, um, I am a black belt in Shotokan and Taekwondo and uh, a little bit of karate, but it was mostly just like traditional karate, the very old Chinese transferred to Japanese karate. But that was just like for fun for like eight months out of my life. I think I tried it, but I was more into uh, Shotokan and Taekwondo more, more than anything because my father's background is Shotokan. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, it's it's funny. My my wife's father is also a master in Shotokan. Man. It's, oh, really? It's great. We we all we all do the, the, the katas together and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, but I remember some of it, and my form is still very good. And I'm, I'm I try to keep it seasoned. You know, I I do my kicks three times a week and slow okay. motion kicks, everything just to stretch. You know, like you did in the gym today, you stretch. Mm -hmm. It's very important for the, for the lactic acid. But I try to keep my flexibility, not to kick high, but to to be able to have that that stretch, that snap just to try to keep as much of the power 
in it as much as possible, you know, because when I competed, I was, I was very good with my legs. I wasn't much of an upper body uh, use. I rarely used my fists, or rarely used any of that. It was always legs, leg work like my dad, always. Taekwondo and Shotokan, I did both tournaments. I did tournaments for both as a kid into my teens and then early 20s when I stopped. I, I just decided, to, I just don't like fighting. I, there was a point where I said, this is, this is not worth it. You know, I have eye floaters and all that stuff. And it's just not, it's not worth it. It's, it's not, there's more. I'm life. with you, man. I, I used to spar pretty hard uh, up until about 12 years ago. But see, the problem is because I love training, like the next day, I'm like, I, I can't even move that great. Like, this isn't even that enjoyable. I'm not going to be a professional fighter. I don't need yeah. all this like mileage on the body, right? Because yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, dude, yeah. I still feel like I'm in my prime. Like everything feels good when I'm working out. Like obviously you get these little annoying injuries that flare up once in a while. But for the most part, I feel like I'm 20. I'm doing like the slow motion kicks like you do. I'm, I'm good, doing head stretch and whatever. It's like, dude, I still good. feel like I'm 20. And, and had I still been sparring hard, for you know the last 12 years i'm sure i'd feel like crap <laughs> you know? it takes a lot out of you man it's we're not made to fight that much and it's, yeah. it's i respect fighters i respect them very much and uh what they go through the training process i respect them because i know more or less what it's like and my father's a fighter and he's and he's an actual fighter you know I, I had a video proving that as best i can because people will question that right like don the dragon will question do, that and i'm like dude I, he, come on man he's, he's got a, a background you know? yeah, i've seen him i've seen him spar jerome lebonair as he, when he went down south uh here in long beach this far i think he's UFC, a young ufc fighter and he, he tagged him on the on the on the on the but but nice like, oh Co right? cody garbrandt was it cody yeah and he was like oh, crying man. about it i made a video about that saying dude cody man up man and show respect to a guy that inspired all these guys that got in the UFC, like your dad inspired GSP, one of the greatest fighters of all time. Like yeah. that, that's his legacy. So yeah. for someone like Cody, he was disrespectful. You know, it's like, dude, you got to show respect to the guy that basically inspired GSP. A anyway, that's a whole other time. No, no. Yeah, no. And Mirko Krokop and Fedor Emelianko is a good friend of my father's as well. Um, but my, my dad's got <laughs> his style and he, and he can prove it. And he's guy's got, 30 plus years of martial arts in his belt, you know, and on his, and on, on his body, he's still at 61, 62 years old. He can still kick lightning fast. It's unbelievable. I, I see like his, his Facebook videos or Instagram stuff where he's doing his spinning, you know, uh, roundhouse kick or, or like his hook kick. It's like, wow, dude, that's like, you know, I want to say it because I'm a lot younger than him, but yeah, that's faster than mine, man. <laughs> yeah, it's still faster than mine. It's unbelievable. And it's all that, it's that, it's that, it's that technique. You, you really work. And that, that, that's how I did really, that's how I excelled in, 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 in competition was, it was that, that, that knee technique that he uses, you know, aiming with your knee and making sure to pivot all the way out. And that's why ballet is so important because you open up the rotator cuffs and the legs and you can get that extra stretch and you can kick within a small circumference. So you keep everything straight and twist the last minute for the point for the impact you know mm -hmm. and that's and that's what his instructor taught him and what he learned from the technique of billy wallace you look at billy wallace's stuff and it's just his slow, billy wallace's slow motion kicks are just i was amazing. always kind of under the impression that bill superfoot wallace probably inspired van damme just like i think bruce lee probably did they had to have it's true, it's true. You know? and, and you can see in the technique mm -hmm. it's true yeah and that's, uh, my, that's my true. father's told me he's like i think when you know it was 14 or 15 when he showed me some stuff Billy really old old books of Billy Wallace and then as YouTube came into the picture and everything um Billy Wallace was uh, was was there were some videos and he would show me slow motion techniques and I was just so impressed by it, it was really is your dad friends with uh Bill Wallace or have they like no. met and trained or hung out together at all do you know good question. it's a very good question I'm not too sure I wouldn't be surprised if they did some way shape or form but I know my father met Muhammad Ali at a young age. Um, he was inspired by Bruce Lee, big time. Steve McQueen, huge idol for his. Peter O'Toole, big, big, and he loves Jack Nicholson. My dad's a huge Jack Nicholson fan. I'm a Daniel Day-Lewis fan, but uh, I'm going on an acting. Uh, <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis, man, he is. He's my favorite actor. When you watch him, it's like you're not watching Daniel Day-Lewis. You're watching literally the character, the character that he's playing he's his crazy, man. yeah you know and that's something that i want to i want to kind of cover with you actually the the whole acting thing in the next video we'll talk all about films acting some unique experiences chris had while auditioning and also some unique insight behind that van Dam music video where he's dancing in front of that mustang and more anyway you don't want to miss that one